Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about upgrading to Windows 11 and the easiest way to do it. So this is the way I have used and it's worked really successfully. So I was on Windows 10 a couple of days ago and now I've upgraded to Windows 11. And how you do this is basically you come onto this website here, pureinfotech.com forward slash install a dash windows 11 on supported pc so you go to this this url it will be in my description uh, below the youtube video you go to here and the, the page is quite long but the section that you're interested in upgrade to windows 11 on unsupported hardware with iso file uh, so this is the section you come to there is a few steps to follow in here so i think there's about uh, um upgrade Windows 11 using so all all, all in, in together about 20, 20 steps but it's not too long some of these are split out too much so essentially you go onto this github page um, and what you do is you download the uh, the zip file here so you can click on to that download zip but I found there's a newer version here so there's a new home there you go onto that you come to this bit you click on to get code and then you download the zip file. After you've downloaded it, your structure, um, so I can actually do this, I'll download this, and once it's downloaded, you open it up, and once you've got it opened, what you do is go within here, and within here you've got a folder called bypass windows 11 and within here you've got something called skip tpm check on dynamic update um, so here you run this as an admin and that should sort out the problem so the full instructions of course are on this page i won't go through everything uh, in here but there you go you've got run as administrator there so you right click run as administrator and once you've done that what you do is uh, you download the ISO from the Microsoft support website. So what you do is you come down to this section here, download Windows 11 disk image and you click on to the multi edition and then click download. And this will download the ISO for Windows 11. After you've downloaded that, uh, basically uh, what you need to do is just open the ISO with Windows Explorer so it will automatically uh, attach the ISO either drive um, so a virtual drive and then once it's mounted that you click onto the setup install Windows 11 I decided uh, you can download updates and drivers uh, so I found I did update um, uh, this rather than not right now so I did select that I did not get this, uh, your PC does not meet minimum spec, so I didn't get that. And it will go through the process of installing the Windows 11 for you. So it was pretty straightforward for me. Hopefully you guys will find this. This has been one of the most frustrating things. And I think a lot of people are unaware that they can update from Windows 10 to 11. Uh, from my personal experience, definitely, definitely update to Windows 11 if you can. Uh, give it a try see what you think leave some comments in there and hopefully this is the one of the quickest methods of updating to windows 11 on this page you might find some of the other screenshots useful i found a usual uh, it was quite uh, an interesting read some of the first ones here they weren't were very interesting but what you'll find as you come down here that it will be a very much of an interest and much easier step from this stage onwards. The other one you have to mess about updating using the registry editor and all the kind of stuff, weird and wonderful stuff. Uh, with the second method, as I say, on this page, you will find that it was much more simpler. So give it a try, see what you think, and leave some comments below. Thank you for watching and do subscribe and like if you found this useful, if, the, if you found this video useful. Cheers.